Hey guys, in the last video we learned the basics of asymptotes and looked at the ways to determine the horizontal, vertical and oblique asymptotes. But we definitely need to practice. So without wasting any time, let's practice some general question on asymptotes. Here we have a question on asymptotes. The question says that function fx is equal to 3x minus 1 divided by 2x plus 4. In part A, we are given a table with functions fx, 1 upon fx and the inverse of fx. And we need to find the horizontal asymptote, vertical asymptote and the x and y intercepts in this part. In the previous video, we learned that to find the horizontal asymptote, we need to divide the coefficients of the highest power of x in the numerator and the denominator. Here, the highest power of x is 1. So what we'll simply do is divide 3x by 2x and this gives us 3 by 2. This 3 by 2 or you can say y is equal to 3 by 2 is the horizontal asymptote for fx. We can even verify this by inserting a line y is equal to 3 by 2. Now we can clearly see how no point on the graph intersects this line as this is the asymptote. As we move rightwards or leftwards, the graph approaches this asymptote y is equal to 3 by 2 but it will never touch it. Next up we have the vertical asymptote. For this we need to plug in the value of denominator equal to 0 and 2x plus 4 equal to 0 gives us the value of x as minus 2. x is equal to minus 2 is the vertical asymptote for the function fx. We can again verify this by inserting a line x is equal to minus 2 like this. Now here again we can see how the graph approaches to this asymptote but never touches it. Initially we were asked to find the vertical and the horizontal asymptote for the function fx and we also need to find these two for the inverse function of fx which is minus 4x minus 1 divided by 2x minus 3. As we know the horizontal and vertical asymptote for the function fx it will be easy for us to now uh, get these for the inverse of fx. This happens because the inverse of a function is ultimately a, a reflection across line y is equal to x. We can even see this using this graph. Let's examine this using a couple of values in the table option. Here we can input the value of x as 1 due to which the value of y comes out to be 5 for the function fx. Hence, when x is equal to 5, is put in the table, the value of y for the inverse function of fx will ultimately come out to be 1. And that's why y is equal to 3 by 2, which was the horizontal asymptote for fx, becomes x is equal to 3 by 2, a vertical asymptote for its inverse function. And the same happens with the other asymptote, which is vertical. We'll work out the intercepts in some other video, but yeah, this rule will hold true in the case of x and y intercepts too, when we are looking at fx and its inverse function. Furthermore, 1 by fx is obviously not equal to the inverse of fx, so we need to solve for it separately. 1 by fx in this case will be equal to 2x plus 4 divided by 3x minus 1. This means that the horizontal asymptote will be 2x divided by 3x which gives us the horizontal asymptote as y is equal to 2 by 3 whereas the vertical asymptote will be 1 by 3 as the denominator 3x minus 1 when equated to 0 gives us x is equal to 1 by 3.